cotton cotton is an important case crop in india and the major pest of cotton are the bollworms and pink bollworm it is an important pest of cotton the scientific name is pectinophora gossypiella under the family jellycidae and order lepidoptera this is the jellycidae family previous all the lepidopterans are under pyrelides in previous classes this one is different family jellycidae and the pest is distributed in america africa australia and asia it is an important pest of cotton and it the pest is also infest in vindi or okra sometimes mainly in cotton then the nature of damage damage is caused by caterpillars there is excessive shedding of the fruit bodies the larvae feed the buds flowers and balls the larvae of this insect feed the buds balls and also the flowers the attacked balls fall off prematurely due to infestation of this pest the ball fall off and the damaged seed cotton gives lint of poor quality means the cotton is poor quality due to the excreta of the insect and also due to infestation by the insect and lower gaining percentage due to infestation of this pest the gaining quality of the cotton is reduced so extraction of thread is less and also the lower oil extraction means sometimes from the cotton seed oil is extracted and when the paste is infested in the cotton then the extraction of oil is less it's over the marks of identification caterpillars are pink in color and found inside the flower buds and balls then after hatching larvae are white in color that means the first instar larvae are white in color and they turn pink as they grow older see this photographs this one see the color of the insect it is pink in color when the insect grow then color is change from white to pink adult deep brown in color what happen adults deep brown in color see this adult insect deep brown in color deep brown in color eight and okay was it task skin to go ase moi eku kora na ko zero score brown in color 8 to 9 mm across the wing spread that means from this area to this area it is 8 to 9 mm then the four wing is brown in color and black spots on the four wings these are the spots see the spots four wings then margins of the hind wings are deeply fringed 
This one is the hind wing. This white color portion is the hind wing. And this is the margin of hind wing. It is fringe, hairy like hind wing. This one is the marks of identification. Next is the life cycle. Moth emerges in summer. There is two season. One is the May June. In May June month, the first generation of moths are appear in the field. And the next is in July and August. The female lays white is flat eggs singly on the underside of the young leaves or new suits or flower buds and young green balls. The adult lay eggs in under surface of leaves then the new suits, flower buds and young green balls. After entering the larvae into the flower buds or balls the entry hole closed down. In the cotton plants, suppose the flower is appear here or balls are formed. If the eggs are laid in the leaves or in the flower buds, then from these eggs the larvae is coming out and this larvae enter to the balls or the flower bud portion for feeding. Then after entering to the flower buds or the balls, the larvae seal the or close the entry holes. Then from the outside you cannot say that the ball is infested by the pest. But the pest continue to feed inside the balls or the buds. Then the larvae become full grown in two weeks and come out for pupation on the ground or fallen leaves and debris. The larvae pupates in soil or sometimes in the debris or fallen leaves. From the buds or flower portion the larvae come to the ground for pupation. Moths emerge within one week. Four to six generation per year. There is some over generations, overlapping generations per year. In winter season, the larvae are going for hibernation. That means the restricted growth period of the insect is larval stage. And this hibernation is occur inside the ball, not in the ground. In winter season, larvae go for hibernation. Then again, from the winter season, when winter season is over, then these larvae are go for pupation in soil and from the pupa, again in June, July, the adults are coming out. Then the another important pest of cotton is spotted ballworm. There is two species of spotted ballworm. One is the Aereas insulana and another is Aereas vitella. And the name spotted ballworm comes from the spot present in the body of the larva. And the pest is mainly found in North Africa, India and Pakistan. And the hosts are cotton, okra, social and hollyhocks. All the Malvesi families plants are 
infested by this pest. Then nature of damage. Early stage of the crop, crop generally infested by this pest. The larvae bore into the shoots, which wither away and dry up. Onset of flowering larvae damage buds, flowers, and balls. Infested balls open prematurely and drop off. And the infested ball produce poor lint. It is quality of lint is not good. Generally, the insulana infest the plants in early stage when there is no flowers. In that stage, the insect infest the soot portion. As a result, in the upper parts of the soot is dry and wither away. Then, when the buds are coming out, or the balls are formed, then the insect migrated to the balls and the flowers. And due to infestation of this insect, the buds are fall down prematurely. Then the marks of identification. Previous one. The last part is the larvae damage buds, flowers and balls. Then infested balls open prematurely and drop off. Infested balls produce poor lint. Okay, then marks of identification. Full grown larvae are 20 millimeter long. Dull green in color. Having long stout bristles. And a series of longitudinal black spots on the body. There is spots in the body and from these spots bristle means the hair like structures. This type of hair like structures are coming out and moths are yellow green. See the moths. It is yellow is green in color 25 millimeter across the wing that means when they spread the wings the distance is 25 millimeter then areas vitella moths have narrow light longitudinal bands in the middle of the four wing this one is the important point areas vitella and areas insulana there is two species in both the cases the size of the adult is same only the difference is the wing in case of areas insulana the wings are yellowish green in color but in case of vitella four wing there is one longitudinal white areas or light areas in the four wing <coughs> and it is prominent in these photographs this one longitudinal white areas next is the life cycle 
the insect completed in their life cycle in four stages. First, the eggs. Then, from the eggs, this larvae, from the larvae, then pupae, and then from the pupae, it's converted to adult. The moths appear in the field in the month of April and live for 8 to 22 days. Adult lays 200 to 400 eggs at night, singly on flower buds, brackets and tender leaves. The insect is under the family Noctuidae and they lay the eggs at night time. Noctuid means the insect appears at night and this insect lay the eggs at night time singly on the flower buds, brackets and tender leaves. Eggs hatch in 3 to 4 days. Then larval period 10 to 16 days. Pupal period 4 to 9 days. Pupates on plants or on fallen leaves on the ground. Life cycle completed 17 to 29 days. And there is several generation per year. And hibernates as pupae in debris. In the previous one, the Pectinophora gasipiella, it hibernates as larval stays inside the ball. But in this case, it's hibernate as pupa, not larva. And pupa is found in debris. And they <laughs> overcome the winter season as pupa in debris. And in the month of April, from this pupa, the larvae, uh, uh, the adults are again coming out. And these are the infested balls, dead photographs. And the pest is also infest the bindi. Then another important pest is the American ballworm. It is, the scientific name is Helicoverpa armizera. And under the family Noctuidae. It is an polyphagous pest and also called the international pest because this pest develops resistance against all the insecticides. And this one is the major problems in case of chickpea and the pulse crops. And it is found in India, mainly in the American cotton varieties. And the pest is first reported in cotton plant in 1977 in Punjab. And the pest is the major problem mainly in Haryana, Punjab and Rajasthan areas. And the host are cotton, chickpea, pigeon pea, mung bean, soybean, cowpea, sorghum, okra, maize, tomato, barsim, and sunflower. That means the paste feed all the all different varieties of crops. So it is a polyphagous one. The nature of damage. Caterpillars damage by boring into the squares, buds, flowers, and balls. Means 
the caterpillar bores all the parts of the cotton plant the caterpillars produce flared squares which ultimately become yellow dry and shed with slight zerk <coughs> larvae bore into the balls with their bodies hanging outside this one is the important symptoms of damage of this pest in case of this insect when the insect feed the balls or flower buds the half portion of the paste is outside and hanging downwards and half part is inside the fruits in case of tomato also the paste is half parts is inside the fruit and half parts is outside difference of damage is the from the spotted bollworm and the pectinophora gossypiella in this case the larvae is hanging outside but in other cases the larvae is inside the ball and continue feeding but in this case larvae is half part is outside the ball see the photographs this way the larvae coming the half portion is outside and the larvae feed the ball then marks of identification caterpillars are greenish with dark broken gray lines along the side of the body the larvae is greenish in color and the side of the body there is some broken lines dark broken lines this type of lines are present then the adults are yellowish brown this one is the adult helicoverpa armizera dark speck and a dark area near the outer margin this areas then is following are marked with grayish wavy lines and black spots of varying size on the upper side see the spots in the wings and the black kidney shaped mark and a round spot on underside in underside of the following there is some kidney shaped this type of spots present underside of the following and upper side there is black spots then the black kidney spots underside hind wings are whitish and lighter in color hind wings are whitish and lighter in color with a broad blackish band along the outer margin in this margin one black areas in the outer margin 
there is no spots on the hind wings and at the time of resting the fore wings covers the hind wings and the fore wings there is various spots are present in upper side and in lower side there is some black kidney shaped spots these are visible from the lower side not from the upper side then the life cycle female lays round shining greenish yellow eggs singly on tender parts of the plant they always lay the eggs singly why they lay the eggs singly anybody to protect the eggs from the enemies if they lay the eggs in cluster in one area then their enemy get the chance to destroy the whole lot at a time so they always lay eggs in singly in different areas a female can lay 700 to 750 eggs in 4 days eggs hatch in 2 to 6 days larval period 13 to 19 days pupa is dark brown and has a sharp spine at posterior end and there is one sharp spine at the posterior end of the pupa this type of spine <coughs> pupal period 8 to 15 days but in winter duration is prolonged due to low temperature their growth is reduced generally in summer season the life cycle is faster and in winter season it is slow due to the low temperature there is eight generation per year in this insect there is eight generation per year then management this tree insect is occur together in the cotton field so the integrated management of this tree bollworm is essential first one is the destruction of off season cotton sprouts and alternative host that means if the off season cotton is remain in the field then the pests get chance to develop themselves then also the alternative host like the other malvaceous crops like okra or the hollyhocks then destroy cotton stubbles followed by deep plowing all the borers all the larvae or the pupae of this insect is found in cotton plants so and they pupate in soils and debris so if we go for deep plowing and destruction of stubbles then the resting stage of the insect that is pupa has get the sun to expose 
and when these are exposed then the natural enemies like birds feed these pupas. So deep plowing is an important practice for management of this insect. Then avoid the cultivation of alternative host in and around the cotton crops. If we grow the alternative host like the okra or other malvaceous crops nearby areas or in the cotton field, then when the cotton crop is over, then the insect migrated from the cotton crop to the other crops. So we have to avoid this practice. Then avoid the late sowing of cotton. Generally the insect is appear, mainly the pink ballworm is appear in the March of months of June, July or May, June. If we grow the crop early, then when the adults appear in the field, then crops become the flowering stage. Then it will reduce the chance of development of the pest. If we go for late sowing, then there is synchronization of the growing stage of the crops and also the paste occur in the same times and it will create the problems. Then release of 8 to 10 release of trichogramma colonies. It is an egg parasitoid of Lepidopteran paste at the rate of 1,50,000 per hectare. Starting from 70 days after sowing at weekly intervals. When we release the trichogamma in the field, then the adult trichogamma go for searching of the egg of the ballworms and they parasitize those eggs. And if we go for continuous release of this biocontrol agent, from the 70 days after sowing, then it will save the crop because this insect destroyed the egg of the ballworms. Then growing of Bt cotton variety. Bt cotton variety. That means Bt cotton is which are introduced in India 2002 yes BT cotton is introduced in India in the year 2002 it is the transgenic variety of cotton where the bacillus thuringiensis toxin is incorporated and in this varieties Due to this bacillus thuringiensis toxins, the ballworm are <coughs> ballworm cannot develop, and these varieties are resistant to ballworms. If the ballworm incidence exceed five percent, spray the crop with two liter of quinal phos. 25 EC or 1.25 liter of monocrotophos. These two are under the group of organophosphorus. Then 1.5 liter of trisophos 40 EC or 200 ml of cypermetrin or 250 ml of fenvalerate. This cypermetrin and fenvalerate under synthetic pyrethroids <coughs> or 150 ml of spinosad or 500 ml of indoxacar per hectare. Generally the application of insecticide is important when the crop losses exceed more than 5% or incidence is very high. 
the seeds and white flies are the sucking paste of cottons. In previous years, the ballworms are the major problem in cotton crops. But when the BT cotton is introduced in India, then the ballworm problem is reduced. But the sucking paste problem become the major one. This is the infestation, <coughs> the minor paste now become the major one in cotton crop. Now the ballworm problem is not the major problem in cotton. In present time, the sucking paste problem is the major one in BT crop areas. And the important sucking paste is, one is the cotton seed. That is Amraska bigutula. Under the family Cicadelidae. It is also called the cotton leaf hopper. This cotton seed is also called the cotton leaf hopper. It is under the family Cicadelidae order Hemiptera. And this one is the most destructive paste of American cotton. Then distribution. The paste is widely distributed in India, mainly in the northwestern region. Then whose plants? Cotton, okra, potato, brinjal, hollyhocks, etc. The paste is also feed the okra, potato, brinjals. The nature of damage. Both nymphs and adults suck the sap from the leaves. See the leaves. These are nymphs. They suck the juices from the lower surface of the cotton leaves. And the leaves turn pale and then rust red. Due to continuous sucking of the juices from the leaves, the color of the leaf is sense. Then the leaves curl downward. The curling of leaf is downward, not the upward curling. It is the downward curling of leaves due to infestation of the seeds. From the margin, from margin sides it is curled downward and later the leaves dry up and fall to the ground. Then marks of identification. Adults are 3 millimeter long and greenish yellow during summer and reddish tinge in winter. In winter season, the color of the adults slightly sends. In summer season, it is greenish yellow. Then life cycle. Female lays 15 yellowish eggs on the underside of the leaves embedding them into the leaf vein. These are the eggs of the seeds and found in the vinyl portion. The eggs hatch in 4 to 11 days. Names pass 6 stages of growth. That means there is six nymphal stages in seven to twenty-one days, and hold the nymphal stage is seven to twenty-one days. They live for five to seven weeks, and there is several generations per year. Generally, these seeds are short-lived. 
so there is several generation per year their life cycle is completed within two months so in one year there is seven to eight generations and there is some overlapping generation also <coughs> then another important sucking pest is white fly this bemesia tebesai and under the family elerodidi this white fly is under the family elerodidi and this white fly is found all the cotton growing areas and <laughs> besides cotton this white fly is also infest the cabbage cauliflower sarsan toria potato brinjal okra etc most of the vegetables are infested by this pest and the leaf curl virus is transmitted by this insect this white fly is the vector of transmission of leaf curl virus then nature of damage both nymph and adult suck the sap from under surface of leaves chlorotic spots develop on the leaves which drop prematurely the insect suck the juices from the lower surface of leaves and the black chlorotic spots are developed due to infestation of this pest and gradually the spots sizes extended and the chlorotic lesions are developed due to feeding of the insect stunting growth of plants shedding of fruits and poor ball opening takes place it is also a vector of leaf curl virus see the curling of the leaf this one is the upward curling in case of zesid infestation curling is downward but in case of white fly it is upward curling and in case of zesid this marginal portion of the leaf is curling downward this curling is occur due to the pest suck the juices from the venal portion so there is constriction of veins and the leaf curl this way then the marks of identification adults are 1 to 1.5 mm long yellowish body slightly dusted with white waxy powder two pairs of pure white wings and have prominent long hind wings see this one the body is yellowish and the wing is pure white and some dust like appearance body is yellowish but the wing is completely white and the hind wing is slightly longer
than life cycle. Females lays stocked eggs slightly on the uh, singly on the underside of the <coughs> leaves. Average 120 eggs per female. Eggs hatch in 3 to 5 days during summer and 5 to 33 days in winter. <coughs> These are the eggs and this one is an coccinellid predator which feed this eggs of white fly. Eggs are stocked means this type of here like structure is attached with the egg in the leaves stock this type of hair like structure attach the egg with the leaves and one female can lay 120 eggs and in winter season the life cycle is longer than in summer Name stays 9 to 14 days. There is three nymphal stages. As the insect is hemipteran, so there is no pupal period. All are nymphs. In summer and 17 to 81 days in winter. Then this nymph are converted to pupa. But this pupa is called pseudo pupa. Because the insect is hemipteran one. So in their life cycle it is completed in egg nymphs and adults. And there is one stage that is pupal stage. And in this pupal stage, it is the transparent covering like structure and inside the structure, nymph is present. And this pupa is called pseudo pupa. It is not true pupa. True pupa is found in case of holometabolus insect. And this one is hemimetabolus under the order hemiptera. So, the pupa of this insect is called pseudo pupa, not the true pupa. Life cycle is completed 14 to 120 days. In winter season, life cycle is prolonged, but in summer season, it is very faster. There is 11 generation per year. Then the management. Spray insecticide at economic threshold level. In case of the seed, the economic threshold level is 1 to 2 neve per leaf. Or yellowing and curling of margin appear in 50 numbers of plants. Economic threshold level. It is the level of pest population in which we will go for adoption of chemical control measures. Then spray oxidamaton methyl. 625 ml or imidacloprid 100 ml per hectare to protect the crops from the seed infestation seed treatment is an important practice for this purpose we have to go for seed treatment with imidacloprid 
70 WS and previous one is imidacloprid that is 100 ml is 17 SL or 200 SL and it is 17 WS 5 gram per kg of seed or thiomethoxam 70 WS at the rate of 3 gram per kg of seed. This seed treatment can protect the crop up to 60 days for infestation of this sucking paste. Any confusion?